Hey everyone, let's have a look at how to enable and disable debug mode in Laravel. Having debug mode enabled is important while developing your application. It provides you with detailed error messages, stack traces, and other useful information that you need in order to detect and remove potential errors from your app. Let's take a look at this example. There's clearly an error in my app, but because I don't have the debug mode enabled, all I see is this generic 500 error. Now let's go ahead and enable a debug mode so we can see a more detailed error message. To enable debug mode, open the .env file which can be found in the root directory of your Laravel app. Set the app debug variable to true. Save the file. And in order for this change to take effect, we have to clear the configuration cache. Open up your terminal and run php artisan config cache. This will first clear the configuration cache and it will then recache it. Now let's go back to the app and see if I have a more detailed error message. And that's right. I now have more details about the error and in this particular case I am able to easily fix it by importing the missing log class. Let's refresh the page. And this is it. To disable debug mode, simply set the app debug environment variable to false. Save the file and then clear the config cache. One thing you need to be very careful about is to not have a debug mode enabled in a production environment. You don't want your sensitive data to be exposed to the end users. So before you push your app to production, do one last checkup to make sure the debug mode is disabled. One more thing worth mentioning here is the config app file. The debug option here uses the app debug environment variable to set the debug mode on or off. The second parameter is the default option, which is false in my case. So that means if we don't have a app debug environment variable set in the env file, the debug mode will be set to false by default. And that's all. Happy coding!